Sometimes I won't take, so. I took pictures when I was a kid. Uh, I remember wanting a bullseye camera really much, which was kind of a fancy Kodak camera. And I just loved taking pictures. It was black and white back then. In fact, everywhere I've been, I've been taking pictures. I mean, everywhere I've worked. Just cover the walls with them. I didn't take them too far, but I gave them a marker pen and some cardboard and told them that she should talk because she's more... They were going to San Jose and they were going away on the... They were trying to get onto the wrong freeway. That's in Davis. So, you ask about the hitchhikers. I mean, they're sort of enshrined now. There's a book. Aha. Uh -huh. The Hitchhiker book. <laughs> Going back before the book, I started taking pictures of hitchhikers, and I don't remember exactly why, but it would probably have been in about the late 60s. Um, by the late 70s, I had an explanation for it. And I'll give you the explanation. It's kind of like a hitchhiker is somebody that you meet and you spend 10 minutes with or two days with. And then they go away and they're gone and they're forgotten. The hitchhikers, I started collecting them. I kept them in an album in my car. Mostly this was after I moved to Sacramento in 75. And I kept them in a little flip book because it was easier to explain to somebody why I wanted to take their picture. Now there's some other odd things that, that, that came in. You might pick up two people at one time, but because I was trying to get more pictures, I'd take single f photos of the two people or the three people. And of course I'd take one of them all together, but Instead of getting one picture, you got two or three. But Doug Biggert portraits on the roadside. The the color reproductions are less than perfect, but then I know that, but no one else is. T t hitchhikers are easy because they're beholden to you in some small way for giving them a ride. And usually you've been talking and it's cool and you say, I want to take your picture. And they almost always say yes. If you know somebody, it's easier. But a lot of pictures don't get taken because you're afraid. Less so with me, perhaps, than some people, but generally that's hard. It's work. Yeah. Seems to me I missed the page. But anyway, that... So, I get in Vice Magazine. Well, forever, for better or for worse. I was pretty flattered. There's a famous photograph of Dwayne Michaels, which most people would probably know as a postcard. And it's called Something from Nothing. And it's obviously the beginning. It's black and white, but it's the beginning of a roll, and half the roll, or a third of the roll, has been exposed to light, and it's all black. And then there's a man taking off his shirt or something over in the uh, on the... Uh, but the idea is something from nothing. In other words, it's the first picture. It should have been ruined. It should have been dumped. But that's sort of the story of the hitchhikers. Magnificent graffiti pieces.